Welcome back to another ApparitionNet Studio video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the stat profile spoofer in Black Ops 2. So this allows you to do a remote recovery uh, for somebody's account. So rather than having to download somebody's profile uh, to you know give them a recovery to set their stats, uh, instead of having to do that you can now basically spoof uh, their stats onto your profile in a sense and then you can edit the stats and then when they next sign into their profile their stats will be modded so that is what we're going to show you how to do in apparition Net studio so this can this feature is only available in black ops 2 although there is all client stats in modern warfare 3 modern warfare 2 advanced warfare and ghosts so you can use that to set other people's stats without having to download their account manually Okay, so once we're in Black Ops 2, you're going to head to Modifications and then Profile Spoof. Now, right now you can see I'm signed into this account, Unlined Statue 37. Now, it doesn't, it's a brand new account I just made on Xbox.com. There's nothing um, on it. It doesn't have anything. If I go in here, you can see it can't create a class. It's, you know, level 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and set the stats of this account while being signed into a different account just to show you how um, you know how this works essentially so I'm going to try and set the stats of online statue 37 um, from a different account because that will basically simulate what you essentially do and how this works um, for for uh, for somebody else if you're doing this for a friend or something like that okay so we're signed in here you can see this account's different, it's level 55. If I go to uh, classes, you can see set to my gamer tag. So let's go ahead and set the stats. So what we're gonna do is for first going to type in the person's gamer tag. So unlined um, statue 37. And then you're gonna click generate and that's gonna generate the hash. Now once the hash is generated, you can just tick the spoof box and you'll get kicked out of the game and it'll throw you back into the main menu so there we go and it's going to say account has been spoofed to online statue 37 so then you go into uh, back into the game and you'll see that my stats will now be level one because I am basically online statue so even though the the gamer tag hasn't changed, the stats have been spoofed. And if I check my, see, I can't even create a class because I'm level one. So I'm actually currently spoofed to the online statue stats. So now if I want to, you know, if this was a friend's account that I wanted to mod or somebody paid me to, to mod their account, I can just go ahead and do a recovery now. So I can use, let's do quick recovery, for example. So that will just do everything. It will do their stats, it will do unlock all, it will set their class names. There we go, all that's done. So it's now level 55. Um, I just need to back out and go back in here to create a class. So you can see it's set the, set the class names to online statue. And just for fun, we'll go ahead and we'll change, let's change all the class names to apparition net instead. All colored class names. We'll set the class names. And that should be that. There we go, so now if we check it's all set to apparition net okay so we've modded this person's account now what can sometimes happen while you're doing this is you might get kicked out from time to time back to the menu with a com error if that happens don't worry about it just click back on Xbox live and you'll still be spoofed to that person's account um, also make sure you don't close this box or untick the spoof box while you're doing setting somebody's stats because otherwise you know it won't set or it'll kick you out um, but once you're done setting the stats, like I've finished, I've done the quick recovery. Once you've once you're finished, you want to click. You don't want to go into a game or anything like that. You just want to uncheck the spoof box, um, or just close the the stat spoof utility. And then after a few seconds, after you've closed it or unchecked that box, it, you're no longer being spoofed to that person's stats. So what will happen is it will kick you back out to the um, to the menu. I would have thought it would have done it by now, but don't know what's taking it so long. Well, you don't have to wait till you till you've been kicked out if you don't want to. You can just go ahead and sign out manually. I was kind of hoping it would do it by now, though. Okay. Well, we'll just sign out manually then. 
And now we'll sign in to unlined statue. And this time, his stats should be set to what, what we set them as while we were signed into that other account. So there we go. Boom, level 55. And if I go to look at my class names, look, they're all set to Apparition Net, like we set them on the other account. We were not signed into this account. We were signed into a completely different account, but we were able to set the stats and the class names and all that stuff of this person's account. Uh, so we view combat record. There you go. All the stats set right there. So yeah, that's how you use uh, the stat profile spoofer, also known as remote recovery, um, in ApparitionNet Studio.